Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be another little haul. Now this is for November 2017 and these are just the items that I've been waiting to come in. They did not all come in on my last haul so I decided to go ahead and film what I had and then when the rest of the stuff arrived then I would go ahead and make another video. So here are the leftover items I was waiting to come and we have several things. We have books and then we've also got some supplies. So let's go ahead and get started with the books. For those of you guys that are a little bit familiar with the nice little town books, um, I, you know, it was a little confusing to me because in the last haul that I think I showed you guys, I had Nice Little Town Christmas and Nice Little Town Volume 2, okay? So there's several, I guess, in the Nice Little Town series, and there's two of the ones that are that are travel size books, okay, like this one here. And so this is the, the Nice Little Town Volume 1. Now, in the last haul, I showed you guys Nice Little Town Volume 2, which was the, this is more of a travel size book, okay? So what goes on with this one here is it's it's quite a bit smaller than the regular size coloring book. So let me just show you a few of the pages. And I think that you get a lot of the same kind of thing in this book that you would get in the original Nice Little Town. It's just volume one. Um, this is volume one, and then I had already purchased volume two. So because I had volume two, I wanted to go ahead and get this one. That way I could have them all in the series. So this is a good, whoops, this is a good book to take with you when you're going on a trip or something. Uh, you know, just you can take just a nice little set of color pencils and just, you know, work on that like when you're waiting um, somewhere. Okay, so that's the Nice Little Town Volume 1. All right, so now what I will do is I will leave links in the description section of this video so that you guys can follow the links. And if there's anything you want to purchase, you can do that. Uh, just as a little disclaimer, I am an Amazon associate. So if you decide to purchase anything through the links that I provide, I get a small little tiny commission that comes back to me. And what I use that for is it just goes right back into this channel to, to help support that. And it helps me be able to get new books and new supplies and stuff to show you guys so that our content does not get stale. All right, so that is a nice little town volume one. And as I said, I already have the volume two, which I showed in the, in the last haul. I've also got the nice little town Christmas, all right? S which brings me to this next book. Now, I thought that I had the Nice Little Town original, but I had the Christmas version, which is okay. I'm glad I got it, okay? And I'll do a flip through of it. But here is the, the Nice Little Town original one. Um, I think this is the one that kind of started it all. So I did not have this one. So I decided to go ahead and get this one. Uh, that way I would have all of the ones in this particular kind of series. Now you get some test pages for your color pencils, for your mediums and everything um, as well as in the last book it is single sided. So here's what the original one looks like, okay? And I'll just go through a few of the pages. So this would be really great like if you have those Koinor Tritone pencils, you know, and because there's like a lot of brickwork and a lot of wood and stuff in here, a lot of um, exterior houses, sidewalks, you know, that kind of thing. And those pencils would work really great on this or you can just use your regular pencils and do your own blending and shading and stuff. But I'm really glad I got this one because I wanted to go ahead and complete what I had already started okay so there is the nice little town original and then the nice little town volume one I've got nice little town Christmas as well as nice little town volume two which I picked up last time all right so now the last book that I got is um, interior designs and this is by Jade Summer it says um, adult coloring book and this is by Jade Summer so I figured since I was getting the nice little town, this one kind of cropped up as I was browsing, you know, how they have like recommended stuff for you to get. <laughs> so um, this one came up as I was searching and so I thought, ah, why not? I like Jade Summer. Now, you probably remember her from, from doing like a lot of people and fantasy things like fairies and mermaids and stuff like that. But um, she's got some really nice things here in... Um, you get some uh, decorated rooms and stuff to color in, which is awesome. So if you kind of want to practice your color schemes and stuff on this, you can. So, and as, w as with um, most of her books, I believe you get two of each design in here. Okay, so there's just a few of the pages in this interior design book. Okay, so that's all of the books I got. Now let's go ahead and move on to the other things, okay? So, the first thing that I want to go ahead and show you guys is now, oops, oh boy, and things are falling on me. So, gosh dang it. 
All right, so the next things I wanna show you guys now, when I was shopping for the Coom sharpener, like I wanted to get one of those, but there's another one that I wanted to get and I just could not remember the name of it. It just kept blanking on me, just kept blanking and blanking and blanking. But I finally figured it out. I think it was when I was watching another video or something, I can't remember whose channel it was, but they used that sharpener and they said it and it's like, oh yes, oh yes, that's what I'm talking about, the Tagal sharpener, ah! So I picked up two of them. I picked up a pink one and I picked up a blue one just because, you know, they're not all that expensive. So I decided to go ahead and get um, two of those. They do make a black one. And so I thought, you know, it's just kind of a nice thing to have and, you know, it doesn't hurt to have an extra. But um, you can do like different sizes of pencils in here. So you just kind of turn this little knob and it just, you get, um, you get the standard pencil and then you get some other um, size pencils that you can sharpen in there. And so here is what the, the hole looks like in there. And you can, you put your pencil in there and then the shavings go into the, the little container and then you just, you clean it out when you're done with it. Okay. So the pink one is the same exact thing, but I got the, I got the blue one and I also got the, the pink one. Okay. So that is, um, two of the Tagal sharpeners that I got. Um, I know I'm really going to enjoy, enjoy those because, um, a lot of people find them really, really great to use, which I'm sure I will too. All right, so there is the Tagal Sharpeners. Next, I picked up this U-Shares 120 pencil case, and I believe I was going to use these for um, a set of colored pencils that I'm going to show you guys today. Okay. So, let's go ahead and just open this up and I'll show it to you guys. It's in the color of black. And I got several of these in other colors, and I like the way these feel. It kind of feels like a PU leather. Um, I think I like the way this feels rather than the canvas ones. So anyway, here's what it looks like, and you got some room in there for sharpeners and an eraser. So this holds 120, and it's got the pages in there that you flip, you know, the leaf pages. Okay, so that is the case from U Shares. Really like these cases. Okay. And I just always like to make sure that my zippers are going to work because it is very, very annoying if you have to fight your pencil case. All right, now let's go ahead and get on with the supplies. So I have yet some more colored pencils, you guys. Holy cow. So these ones here are going to be the... Um, let me just go ahead and show you the box. These are the Lyra Rembrandt Polycolor color pencils and there's 72 in this set okay so it comes with an outer sleeve and then here is the back of it it just um it has um a little bit of a color sample of each pencil and just kind of talks about the pencils okay so when you slip off this cover you are going to get this tin that it comes in it's just kind of a nice metal tin that you see. Um, nothing really special, but it says Lyra or Lyra. Is it Lyra or Lyra? <laughs> I always pronounce it Lyra, but it says Lyra on the top of it. And then you open it up and here are our pencils. Okay. So here is the first tray of pencils and they kind of look a little bit like, um, the Marco Renoir's in the fact that you get this color barrel and then the color of the pencil is on top there. I don't know if it really matches the this part up here. We'll find out. So it's kind of a lighter weight pencil than like the Marco Renoir ones, but um, I've not colored with these, but I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of great things about them. Okay, so here's the first tray of them. And if I didn't say so, there are 72 pencils in this set. And I believe that there are two trays in here, okay? So there's going to be two trays in this set. Okay, so here is our second tray of pencils. So some really, really nice colors that you get in, in here. Okay, so go ahead and put these back. And I believe that, nope, these ones don't come with a pencil sharpener. Some pencils come with a, um, a couple of those little, kind of those little cheapy pencil sharpeners that you see, but this one does not. Okay, so we'll close up that tin and we'll put them away. Then we have the Koinor. 
These are the Koinor Polycolor pencils. Um, not to be confused with the Lyra's because they both have polycolor in the name of them. <laughs> and this is also a 72 colored pencil set. Okay. So as you guys know, as I've said in my other videos, I'm going to be starting a color pencil review series. So be on the lookout for that. I have anything from just very, very budget friendly pencils to all the way up to like the really big guns. I mean, we're talking Holbein's, we're talking um, Luminance, you know, we're talking Pablo's and of course Polychromos, we've got Prismacolors, you know. I got pretty much like, I think all of the color pencil brands that we kind of know about. Um, at least the artist grade ones. And then of course, as I said, I have a lot of very budget friendly ones too that we're gonna look at. So um, we're, gonna, we're going to do the whole scale of um, colored pencils in our review series. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this. It's got a metal tin and you have an insert in here and this just kind of talks about the um, art materials from Koei Noor. Okay, so it's just a little fold out brochure that you can look at. And it just, it just has all different kinds of stuff that Koei Noor offers. So it's worth keeping if you want to see just exactly what else that you can get. And then they have, um, I'm not sure what this thing is. It's just kind of like a little paper that came in it. Okay. So here are our pencils. Again, there's 72 pencils in the set. And here is our first tray of them. Very, very, they look like very, very vibrant colors. And let's go ahead and take out a pencil and we'll look at that. Now these are hexagonal rather than round. It feels a, pretty substantial in your hand. It's not as heavy as like uh, polychromos or even Prismacolors, but um, these are supposedly oil-based pencils. And so you get the color of the pencil on the barrel. Okay, so hexagonal pencils, if some of you like the hexagonal ones a little bit better, okay. So here is the next tray, and I think that there's only two trays in here, just like we had with the Lyra's. And I'm just going to try to lift up on it, but yeah, I think there's only two trays in here. So here is our second tray of pencils. Again, very vivid, bright colors. Okay. And this set does not come with a, a pencil sharpener at all. Okay. So here are our Koinor Poly Colors. So those color pencils are gonna get reviewed, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put the, the uh, paper protector over the top of it. And I will be getting all of these pencils out of their tins because I really do not like these metal tins. Um, I do have to get a couple more cases. I got, I got a few cases, but I don't have, um, I don't have nearly enough cases yet for everything that I got. I used to have, cases for all of my colored pencil sets, but I ended up getting several colored pencil sets, as you guys know, and so I did not get enough cases to cover everything, but I will be remedying that um, sometime in the future. All right, so then last but not least, I always say that last but not least, is the 160 set of, the, of these Hero pencils. Now these ones, I believe, are the ones that people have been talking about a lot. Um, these are supposedly the, the oil-based pencils, okay? So these are the ones from Hero. And so it comes with, it, it's kind of like that shuttle art pencil set that I showed you guys, okay? Because it's got a little handle that you can carry them with, okay? So, and it says hero at the top. And then here is what the back of it looks like. You get just, it's kind of got a picture close up of some of the pencils in there, okay? So let's go ahead and take off the little um, paper over the top of it. And... I have to get the handle back down in it so I can slide it off, I hope. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and slide that off. And then what's gonna happen, again, it's like the shuttle art case. It's just a flimsy kind of plastic case. I'm definitely gonna be getting the pencils out of here. But let me just go ahead and pull everything out. It comes in these little trays, okay? Comes in these little trays and so let's just show you guys what we got. All right, we'll put the case off to the side for just a minute. Okay, so here is our first tray right here. Okay. Here is our second tray. You guys see that? Here is our third tray. 
Now this one has, this set has 160 pencils. Here is the next tray. <laughs> and then here is our last tray. So there's five trays in it. And then let me just pick up one of the pencils and show it to you guys, okay? So, now these pencils feel very lightweight in the hand. These feel more like, they're round pencils. These feel more like the Shuttle Art pencils and the Lelix pencils, okay? They're they're kind of tiny barrels a little bit. Um, I don't know what the core size is, but it's it kind of looks like a thinner core. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it feels kind of lightweight in your hand. So if you want something that's not that doesn't feel so heavy in your hand, these these pencils are great for that. And then you do get some writing on the pencil. I don't believe it has the names on them, but um, it does say Quang Hu or Quang Hut. <laughs> um, Let's see. Okay, yeah, it says Quang Hut, and then, and then it looks like it's got a number on it. Looks like it's got a number on it. We will look closer at these pencils when I do the review, but here's what they look like, okay? So here are the Hero uh, supposedly oil-based color pencils, okay? So anyway, that concludes my haul for this time. We have the three books, we have the three color pencil sets. We have the pencil case as well as the um, two Tagal sharpeners. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, but better yet hit that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. And I think I said leave a comment and go ahead and hit that like button as I said. You all have a great day and we will talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, bye guys.